What's up, pussies? I'm the Heavy Metal Deck, and this is Heavy Metal Homesteading. Uh, we were super fucking busy this summer. Uh, we had a really good season. And now it's time to start looking at uh, fixing shit that got fucked up. So, um, our wheelbarrow, we broke a handle off on one, and we wrecked a wheel on another. So, we're going to build a new handle today, and then we'll get into uh, replacing handles and putting a new wheel on the other one. So let's check this out. Okay, so here we have an old wheelbarrow handle. Um, this is off the same wheelbarrow that um, the other handle broke off of. But we're going to make our new handles a little bit bigger. Um, here's one that I've already made. I haven't drilled the holes in it yet, but we're going to make it, you know, a little bit thicker. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to cut this one down to length. And we're going to make sure we hold on to that off cut because we're going to need um, some wedges later on. Okay, so next up we're going to um, rip this bad boy down to an inch and a half heavy. For you non-carpenters, that is an inch and nine sixteenths by an inch and seven eighths. Usually I like to pull the second half of the cut, but I just can't fucking get around the table saw in this tiny little shop I have, so we just deal with it the dangerous way. Okay, so this is a spoke plane. This is the primary tool we're going to use to shape the handle. Uh, being as we're working with hardwood, we want to make sure that we have this cunt sharp as fuck. So we're just going to give this a quick buzz on the grinder here. Arm shaver. All right, so now we got our spoke plane nice and sharp. We got our frosty cold beer ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and mark where the end of the handle is gonna end up. Right about there. And we're just gonna freehand this from there. Okay, so now I got my belt sander here loaded up with uh, 40 grit sandpaper. Camera battery's running pretty low, so hopefully we get uh, all or most of this. We're just gonna clean up the rough edges and give this a little bit nicer shape. All right, so now that we've got the camera battery fucking charged up and chooching again, it's time to um, hand sand these to a nice finish. There's a couple of gouge marks here, but I don't give a fuck. So here I've got a fucking huge pile of sandpaper. So we were running 40 grit on the belt sander there. So here's some 80, uh, some 220, and some 150. So we're just going to try and get these nice and smooth um, so that they're, they're nice to hold on to. Right, there we have them nice and fucking smooth they're not perfectly the same size but it's just a tool to get the fucking job done <clears throat> uh, I've gone and I've marked little axes where all the holes need to be we've got the drill press set up there with a quarter inch bit which uh, is my best laser eyeball guess at the size of the fucking bolts that are on her so Drill some holes. All right, so to make sure that we're we've got all these holes lined up in exactly the right spot, we're going to use our laser guided eyeball tool again. Okay, 
Mm. Alright, so now these are totally fucking screwed. I mean, drilled. Holes drilled. They're not screwed. They're in perfect condition. Um, we're going to hit them with uh, some sort of exterior clear coat, something just to protect them from the elements. This thing's going to live outside for the majority of its life. Now I'm going to go see what the fuck I've got. Alright, so I've ruffled around and uh, I found some new and improved cherry flavor. Uh, gel stain from Verithane, which is an interior exterior product. That's uh, the only exterior shit I've got lying around right now. So, <clears throat> let's get into it and hope it isn't fucking dickered. I've never actually used a gel stain before. It looks dickered. We're gonna fucking use it anyways. I'm going to go put some gloves on. Now surely you're asking yourself, Heavy, or you're fucking yelling at your computer, one or the other, Heavy, you're pretty sure that this stain's dickered. Why are you going to go ahead and use it anyways? Well, folks, there's two reasons for that. Number one, I've never used a gel stain before, so I have no idea if it's actually fucking hoopa juped or not. So I'm just going to throw it on there and see what happens. Second reason, I'm cheap as fuck. I'm broke as hell. So... If you want to see me using good products to get the, the right fucking tools for the job, head on over to my Patreon page. You can find a link in the description box. And send me some money so you don't have to sit by your computer and watch me painfully use stain that's probably fucked. Stain brushes are cheap as hell, but I'm also cheap as hell, so I like to keep mine right here in this handy dandy coffee can full of Verithane. Gloves! I just borrow those from work, so they can go in the garbage. Okay, fuck back, so here is what's left of my wheelbarrow. Here are the new handles, so now we're going to start putting this hoer back together again. Um, when I took this apart, I kept all the bolts in place so I didn't fucking get lost and confused when it came time for reassemblage. It's always a good fucking tip. Do that, shit. Here's the wedges I made. I just took the old wedge, traced it out. Um, Bingo fucking bangle bongo. Probably should have taken some time to do these ahead of time and get them stained and shit, but I didn't. And I need this fucking thing for tomorrow, so we're gonna bang it out, get it done. If at first it doesn't fit, get a bigger hammer. Hey, it's starting to look like a wheelbarrow again. Minus the wheel. But we'll get there. There's that bigger hammer trick coming in handy again. Now, if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know more power is more better. Why well, use hand ratchets and shit when we have pneumatic tools? Like I said, First, don't succeed, get a bigger hammer. Now this is where we get to see how accurate the laser eyeball really is. I'm gonna have to tell you, it's not that accurate usually. Oh, fuck, would you look at that, girls and boys. It's not just good, it's good enough. 
Look, it's a wheel. It's a real bona fide wheelbarrow again. Oh, Jesus. On this side, we weren't so lucky on the laser highball. We can fuck that, though. We'll just give her a little... Give that a couple or three percussive adjustments. All right. And that is, as they say in Germany, gut genug. All right, now we just got to get everything torqued to proper spec. Well, there you have it, boys and girls. One job site lawn chair. Job well done. If you've enjoyed checking out this process, give us a like, share this video to all your friends and family and people you don't fucking like, just to irritate them because I'm an ignorant dick. Uh, check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all my other social media bullshit. Uh, I like to post there some bullshit randomly here and there and give you guys updates on upcoming videos and what to expect. And if you really, really fucking like this, head on over to my Patreon page and, uh, Support the channel that way. Due to my cursing and swearing and vulgarities and fucking ignorant jokes, YouTube likes to demonetize my videos, so it's kind of hard for me to make money doing this. Fuck you.